I'm going to show you how to use the circle skirt calculator on byhandlondon.com. This is not my website. I'm not in any way affiliated with them. I just ran across them and I was like, thank you, Lord, because this is going to make calculating circle skirts so, 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 so much easier. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do for this double circle skirt. So I'm going to be working in the inches. So I'm going to select inches. It's already selected by default. Um, the way to tell that it's selected is that it's going to be a little bit darker um, than the one that you don't have selected. What we're going to do for this skirt is we're going to select the full circle skirt. And you would select which length that you would like. But really, you can use whatever length that you want. It's just that these guidelines help this calculator to tell you how much fabric you're going to need. So pick the length closest to what you're going to do. For my case, I selected a midi length because I did my skirt to be about 23 inches. So I'm going to go with midi. And for the waist, here's where we're going to deviate a bit. Under norm normal circumstances, you would use your actual waist measurement. What we're going to do is divide our waist measurement by two. I'm going to tell you why. For a double circle skirt, you are going to cut four panels, not two. For the full circle skirt in this calculator, it's going to tell you to cut two panels. We will be cutting four, so we need to divide our waist by two. So if my waist is 32 inches, then I'm going to tell the calculator that my waist is 16 inches. And then I'm going to say, do the math. So it calculates all it is for you, girl. And this is what we're going to be marking on our fabric. Well, this is what I'm going to be marking on my fabric. You're going to mark whatever your waist radius is per this calculator. And based on my waist radius and a midi length of 24 inches, because that's what I told the calculator, it's telling me that I need about 54, almost 55 inches of fabric. And it's telling me that I'm going to cut two panels. Remember, that's what I just said. Remember, I said we are going to cut four panels. So you need to double this length. So 50, I'm going to round it up to 55 inches times two. And then divide that by 36 inches because there are 36 inches in a yard. That will tell you how many yards of fabric you need. So I don't feel like doing this in my head right now. So I'm rounding my fabric length required number up to 55 and I'm times two because I'm cutting four panels and then I'm dividing this number by 36 so I need three yards of fabric and that's all that you have to do so you need to make note of your waist radius and make sure that you have enough fabric and here's some very important information here this calculator includes seam allowance of 5 eighths of an inch and a hem allowance of one inch. So that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. When I do kind of quote unquote self drafting projects, I usually use a half an inch of seam allowance, but we are going to go with the calculator. We're going to sew everything with a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance and our hem allowance will be one inch. And as far as it goes about the hem allowance, since we're doing this skirt to whatever length we want, not for the calculator, then you really don't need to consider this. This is just letting you know that they built in an inch hem allowance when considering the fabric length recommendation. So starting out with your fabric folded with the fold facing you and the selvages away from you, you're going to mark out your first Point of your waist radius and you're going to mark it using your tape measure starting from the bottom corner of your fabric. It's very important that your fold is facing you. So pivot your tape measure and continue to mark that waist radius around that corner of your fabric. And then using your chalk just go ahead and smooth that and line out. So we're about to get ready to mark out the length 
and starting from the edge of your first mark you're going to measure out the length now of course you are limited to the amount of fabric that you have because it is doubled over if you want a skirt longer than what your fa fabric will accommodate then go back to the by hand London website and choose a longer length of skirt and it will give you a different fabric layout recommendation and then you can continue on um, as directed so when you're marking out the length you are going to do the same thing as you did for the first radius marking out the length um, you uh, pivoting your tape measure at the first radius keep in mind if you plan on hemming your skirt then you need to add an inch for your hem allowance if you do not plan on adding a hem to your skirt then you can just go ahead and measure out the length that you want do that all the way around your skirt and then connect the dots once you got your lines all drawn out and everything is smooth and rounded go ahead and cut it out you're going to cut out the length and you're going to cut out your waist radius okay now that you've got that panel cut out go ahead and keep it folded and set it to the side move your fabric down and smooth it out grab the panel that you just cut out and place it on the fold just like I'm doing here and you're going to use it as a template to cut out the rest of your panels that saves you a lot of time from having to uh, remark your lines out the trick here is to make sure that it is even that everything is placed on the fold you see how I'm positioning my fabric making sure that it's right smooth out the wrinkles and grabbing your scissors you want to cut as close as possible to the edge of that template sometimes when we're cutting a template we get a little scared and we cut a little further out but you want to make sure to stay as close to that template as possible without going wider and without cutting that template so you're going to repeat this process for your next three panels to get all of your pieces for your skirt cut out and then we'll move on to the waistband For your waistband, unfold your fabric. You just need one layer of fabric and you're going to cut your waistband with a length of your waist measurement plus one and a half inches and a height of three inches. After you've cut your waistband, go ahead and apply your fusible medium weight interfacing to your waistband and cut off the excess. Now it's time to sew. So grab one of your skirt panels, lay it out flat, and grab another skirt panel and you're going to sew one edge of those panels right sides together at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. You're only doing one side. When you're finished it should look like this should have a very small circle in the middle but don't worry that is not your full waist circumference that is only half of your skirt so you're going to grab another panel of your skirt and attach it to one of the open ends doesn't matter which one and sew it together right sides together at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance
OK, you should have three panels sewn together and we're going to sew on your last one. So just grab your last panel and repeat the same steps. Just attach it to um, one of the open ends, right sides together, 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Now that you've got all of your panels sewn, go ahead and finish up the raw edges of your skirt on the inside. So you're going to press your seam allowances flat and then finish them with a serger or a zigzag stitch or overlock stitch on your sewing machine just to finish up those raw edges um, to make them nice and clean and neat and prevent wear and tear on the inside of your garment. Next up, grab your waistband and pin it across the top of your skirt. Make sure that it's pinned securely because you are basically pinning a very, very curved edge against a very, very straight edge. So don't be shy with your pins to make sure you get it right. When you finish pinning, you're going to stitch that seam at half an inch seam allowance. Next up, you're going to go ahead and install your zipper on your skirt. I'm not going to go into great detail here because I've already done a tutorial on this method. It's a zipper method that I use on all of my skirts or pants with waistband. And with my method, you don't have to do any hand sewing or add any closures. So I will link to that tutorial in the description box and I'll put a link in the video as well. So if you want to check out my method, then go ahead and click on that link. If you know how to install a zipper, then just go ahead and do that and we'll wrap up our skirt. Okay, to wrap up my skirt, I like to press down my waistband just to get it nice and crisp. And then I'm gonna stitch in the ditch, a technique in which you're stitching in a seam to close up my waistband. It's my little cheat in that I don't have to do any hand sewing on the inside of my skirt. And again, I cover all of this in my zipper installation tutorial in great detail. So if you haven't checked that out, go do so. All right, so we've got our skirt almost done. If you are not hemming your skirt, then you're absolutely done with your skirt. But if you are going to hem, then I need you to hang up your skirt and let it settle for about a day. So about 24 hours. So I've hung my skirt up. And I'm going to let it settle. This is just a technique that you need to use whenever you cut something on the bias to let the fiber settle and you get a nice even hem. So it is the next day and I'm ready to hem my skirt. Hemming this skirt is going to seem like it's going to take forever because it is a lot of fabric to hem. But the best thing for you to do is to pin under your hem, which we're using one inch, and press it down. So now I've got this skirt hemmed and I'm going to press it down with my iron and stitch all the way around. And now you're all done. You've got this big, beautiful, flouncy, bouncy skirt to wear and twirl for the spring and the summertime. And I'm also going to show you the inside of my garment as well. So I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that it's been helpful for you. Make sure to check the description box for any frequently asked questions and the link to the blog post that has the pictures that I took in this exact skirt that I made. And if you have any questions that are, I did not already answer in the video or in the description box, then feel free to post and I will answer those questions. So if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and even better, a great big old thank you would be to share this video with your other sewing friends. So I will see you at the next tutorial. Bye.